Let's talk about Baxter Stockman in my Ninja Turtles cinematic universe. Baxter Stockman is a nearly unparalleled genius. I think he's literally the smartest man on earth in my continuity. He is so smart that in his early 20s, he built a deep space communications device to see if there were aliens out there. And to the young Baxter's surprise, there were, and they answered back. Specifically, he reached General Krang of the Utram Empire. Krang was, of course, manipulating this guy for his own reasons, but Krang couldn't deny this guy's intellect was near on par with Utram scientists. And so Krang helps this guy. Krang feeds this guy Utram science. That is how this guy is able to develop mousers. That is how this guy is able to develop his own mutagen. And eventually, that is how this guy builds a warp portal that allows the Utram army to come to Earth in the first place. Baxter serves as the primary antagonist for the first season of my Ninja Turtles series. He is their creator. He is the one that made the mutagen that made the turtles. The special project that he had April O'Neil working on with the turtles was an explicit project he received from General Krang to find the best suitable species to pair the mutagen with. This was something the Utram Empire did millions of years ago on Earth and how they created the Triceratons. But with dinosaurs being extinct, that's not exactly a thing they could do anymore. And so they had him going through reptilian earth species to find the perfect match. Now Baxter thinks he's hot shit because he's working for alien overlords during the first season, but after the Shredder comes onto the scene in season two, the Shredder makes this guy his bitch. I'll get into it later, but the Shredder has intimate knowledge of the Krang, and he knows what this guy is. And so the Shredder makes him basically his mole, but also makes him work for him. And so Stockman Enterprises and TCRI become essentially a weapons manufacturing ring for the foot in New York. Then for the rest of the series after season one, Baxter Stockman is just kind of thrown around from villain to villain as a little bit of a punching bag. Baxter is a genius, but that, that oomph, that, that fire that makes a villain truly a villain, this dude lacks. He really wants to play at basically being a supervillain, but his competition is a millions of years old extra dimensional alien warlord and the fucking Shredder. Sorry, Baxter, you're great, but holy shit, you're out of your league. Baxter will have genuine respect for April O'Neil as her intellect nearly approaches his own, and he will grow a begrudging respect for the Turtles and a little bit of love because, just sort of stroking his own ego here, he did make them. The mutagen that makes the Turtles so great that was his doing. So after the Shredder starts abusing this guy and being his boss, every single time he sees the turtles whoop Shredder's ass, that's a feather in his cap. He's taken that as a win. Now, I currently have no plans to turn him into the fly monstrosity most of us recognize from most versions of Baxter Stockman, because I don't really plan on him getting that explicitly antagonistic to anyone really directly to deserve that sort of punishment. But let me know if you guys think that that's like a good thing that the Shredder would do to him to put him in his place or something like that. Anyway, that's Baxter Stockman in my Ninja Turtles cinematic universe.